This is a kind of a new series I've been kind of messing around with. So it's like a relevant, relevant events we'll call it. Basically like a news update. So like I'm a news guy, kind of. But way cooler and way more handsome. So in light of today's uh, news, it seems that YouTube has decided they were going to ban or basically take your second and first amendment rights just away from you. You're not, you don't have them. So like, yeah, that happened. So basically what, what, what that means is that all these gun channels about like, you know, uh, different modifications to AR-15 style rifles or how to make a rifle uh, full auto or bull pop or butt ex uh, extender st ex uh, ex uh, stocks, butt stocks, um, trigger upgrades, all that stuff, anything that has to do with like the sales of firearms or accessories, gone though, done. Um, what gives YouTube the right? Well, it's pretty simple, it's their company, it's their show, and if you don't like it, then you can leave. And that's really pretty much all there is to it. Um, I know a lot of creators are losing their shit, they're losing a lot of money, a lot of gun shops are losing their money, a lot of people are basically like pissed off, and I don't blame them, it sucks. But at the same time, there's a lot. There's something that I'd like to bring to light to that I don't think a lot of people are thinking about. So, do I completely disagree with what YouTube is doing? No, no, I don't. Um, this is my opinion. If you don't like it, then that's too bad. Um, am I for guns? Absolutely, I'm pro gun. Yeah. Am I for children? under the age of even 18 really going on to YouTube uh, somebody young enough not to understand uh, to have parental vision when it comes to firearms they shouldn't be able to go on to YouTube and learn how to fucking load that thing and, and do it now am I against kids learning how to do that no absolutely not just on the internet especially on YouTube because there's no way to tell how old a kid is or whatever when they're when they're watching your show or ch there's no way for them to tell that so you know it's kinda like think of it like this um, you got these bigger gun channels like Jaeger and um, you know the outlaw American outlaw or whatever the f whatever his name is I don't even know um, Such and Hitchcock and these huge big gun channels that teach you now Hitchcock doesn't really do a whole lot of like how to do things uh, he just basically he, he's very well. I think he I think he'll be okay because he does a lot of handgun stuff. I hope he's like one of my favorite to watch. Um, he's very informative and very pretty much the big dog when it comes to that. Um, but some of these other guys, how do they know that that kid that shot up that school in Florida or some of these uh, the guy in Vegas or how do they know that they didn't learn how to do what they did to their guns from watching their channel? So how would that make me feel as a creator knowing that the person that shot up the school learned what they learned from me what if that came to light like oh I learned this from such and such as channel well that would really upset me and I wouldn't be able to live with myself to be honest with you so um, I kinda understand where YouTube's coming from now YouTube's gonna have a rude awakening when they find out that that's not gonna change anything um, it, it's just not going to change anything because the only thing that how am I going to put this um, if people want to do evil they're going to do evil the most dangerous thing in the human society is the human mind there's nothing more dangerous than that and there's no YouTube channel AR-15 regulations constitution or anything that's going to change the mind that wants to do harm to another person if that's what it's intended to do so it's kind of like one of those things where it's just like what do you do if you're on if you're a gun channel on YouTube and I can understand some of them getting upset because they gotta feed their families and some of them rely on this for their um, funds and this is how they feed their family put food on the table and that sucks but at the same time, 
you should have, it's your fault, it's your own fault, and you should have better planned for this because it has, it has been always going downhill on YouTube. The signs have been around for months. The signs have been around for longer than months, years. The signs have been around for years. The YouTube and the whole gun thing, it's just been going downhill for a while. I think I'd probably say since Orlando-ish maybe around, even maybe a little bit before that. Um, so it's a tough thing. I gotta check on my pizza. Give me one second. Yeah, so, um, as far as like what these, some of these other guys are saying, like, well, what are we gonna do? Maybe there's gonna be something, maybe in a few weeks. The way I see it is they're not gonna change this, and, and it's, it's pretty much set, it's done. Um, it's, it's come to an end. That's it. So, uh, it's either you don't like it or, you know, you figure out something else. Like, there's other sites where these guys are going to have to start doing these shows on um, different different sources. And that's all. That's all there is to it. Um, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it's YouTube can do whatever they want because they own it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're here you're using, using their platform. Uh, that's why I never really wanted this to be a gun channel. I wanted this to be more of a men's lifestyle channel. Uh, you know, the way I see it is they need to start training the teachers to have firearms or they need to start putting ballistic vests in every classroom, you know, and, and start implying uh, active shooter drills and stuff like that. And uh, I think the teachers need to go get a 235 um, license, which, whichever ones would want to do that, and maybe a few of them, maybe the principal, whoever. Uh, or maybe an armed force or whatever uh, in the schools, um, but it's just it's just a, it's a shitty thing, like it's bad. Um, but at the same time, it's it's kind of like well you knew it was coming, and um, you know make a rubber band gun instead. What else are you gonna do about it? I mean what you can all come together and you know whatever and boycott. It's not gonna do anything because. They're not losing any money from this. That's why they took the ad revenues away months ago from these gun channels. And they should have known right then and there that this was what was going to happen. The reason why they took the ad revenues away, to see if they would actually lose any money. Do you think if they were losing money from this, that they would, give a sh that they would still do this? No, absolutely not. They're not losing any money because there's other content that's making them plenty and plenty of money. If anything, this is bringing them more money, more cash in, because it's it's creating drama, and we all know that drama is the driving force to the economy. It's just, it's just how it is. I mean, it just makes, that's just how it is. This is why celebrities cause shit. This is why somebody like Logan Paul who does some dumb shit. Now he's got like 10 more fucking 100,000 more subscribers than he did before he, you know, did what he did with the suicide thing. This is why people do what they do, because drama creates controversy, and controversy makes money. It's just, it's just a simple thing of its business. And uh, it's a sad thing that they, they, they could take away your First and Second Amendment rights, but at the same time, this is like going into your job and saying, not liking the rules. Well, if you don't like the rules, then you don't have to work here. Um, so create your own thing. I mean, it's, it wasn't that hard for Google to start this. I mean, it just started out with, with nothing. It started out with one person, really. And it went from there, I mean, you know. So um, I think all these gun channels, what you're going to start seeing is everybody go to like a full 30 thing where you're gonna probably going to have to donate the money to, to be on there and watch their content, which is a shitty thing, in my opinion. Um, I, I, th I thought I might be doing a patron thing, but not until after I had like freaking 10,000 subscribers or maybe even more. Uh, we'll, we'll see. This is not something, I don't really care about the money. This money's not really an issue. Um, I have a job. This is just fun. I just like talking to you guys on the camera. I like sharing my ideas and my opinions. And I think that, um, I, I like, I like especially to share when something shitty happens. That's probably my favorite content to share. But anyway, as far as the whole gun thing goes, I mean, it sucks. 
But honestly, you're just going to have to embrace that suck and deal with it um, and find that content somewhere else because it's not going to be here anymore. Um, that's just the unfortunate thing about it. And the reason why I'm not getting so upset with it is because there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things. They don't want guns. They're not going to have them here. That's all there is to it. Now, like I said, I, I don't really fully disagree with it because I don't agree and I never did agree with anybody buying an assault rifle. I think that you should have to be well educated before you own any kind of rifle. Not an assault rifle, I, you know what I mean. AR style rifle. Um, I think you should be well educated and I think that you should um, take some kind of a course to be trained. Uh, and I think that'll cut down, but it, that's going to cost more money. It's going to cost money to do that. It's going to cost money for the course, to pay a teacher, to, you know, but it also cut back on the crazy people who were buying these guns and just being able to get them. Because it is way too easy, you know. And not saying, okay, I know you get the background checked or whatever. How are you going to tell somebody's clinically insane without doing some kind of a psychological test and at the same time, a lot of people would probably fail that same psychological test. So it's kind of hard. But, um, you know, as far as YouTube goes, they're just they're just done with it, I guess. I don't know why they're doing it. I mean, I kind of know why they're doing it. I just don't understand why everybody's getting so worked up about it. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal on a sense of they're taking your Second and First Amendment away from you. But it's not a big deal because at the same time, it's a fucking platform that they own and it's it's not actually taking your physical right away. You know what I mean? Do you still have your gun? Yes. Do you, or, you know, so what? You can't watch a video on how to, so learn a different way. You should be doing that anyway, to be honest with you. So, you know, that's just my thought on it and uh, try not to get all... <laughs> Some of my opinions, man, I don't know. Some people agree, some don't. I don't know. don't really care. It's just, my. that's how I feel about it. I mean, um, it would be cool to see, like, all the bigger channels come together and have some kind of a, like, way that they could um, fight this. But, in all honesty, it's just, um, dude, they're taking channels away that have millions of subscribers. Zero fucks given. They don't care. They... They had this set in stone that this is what was going to happen, and that's it. So, um, it's a it's a pretty shitty day if you're a gun channel like that, and that's what you rely on, and that's what your content is. Um, as a creator, that I do many different things. I love guns. I love art. I love life, fitness, uh, fashion, clothes, um, girls. Freaking education, books, learning, like uh, tech stuff, um, cool gear, knives, flashlights, multi-tools, um, boots, shoes, sneakers, socks, anything. Bags, backpacks, all kinds of stuff here, guys. We got it all going on over here. So, you know, as far as with these guys, it just basically made their channel on one thing. And that's, that's just kind of nothing lasts forever. And uh, that's just the reality of what they're realizing now. And I think that I, I always plan for nothing lasts forever. So I always kind of have a, a setback. That's why I don't, one, I will never rely on this to be a source of income. Because I already have a job. This is just something I do. If income starts coming, whatever, that's cool. Uh, but it's not the driving force to my channel. It's not the reason why I'm starting my channel. For one, that breaks like every rule that you're, trying to do for YouTube anyway, you should always focus on building um, a an audience before you think about money. If you do it the other way around, around, it will never work. And some of the biggest YouTubers will tell you that. You always focus on building your audience, subscribers first, then maybe try to make money if you can because they, mainly that's the people start mailing you shit and giveaways and all that other stuff. I don't know. It's just like here at Hard City, and um, I just I just want to be real with you guys. Uh, I just really don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, and obviously, most of you probably are gun people. Some of you might not be. I'm not really 100% sure about all my audience, but 
Um, some of you might not even have a fuck clue what I'm talking about because this isn't really a AR style. This isn't a channel where we do any of that kind of stuff, really. I mean, I talk about my concealed carry gun here and there, um, and I'm still able to build a pretty big audience without um, the use of firearms a lot. So uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, that this channel, I don't think it's cool. YouTube's doing it, I think it sucks, I think it's bullshit, but, um, I don't completely disagree with it because it's a sense of, I don't think that it's okay for children to be able to access that information so easily, and I think that's what it real bo boils down to. Um, that and crazy fucking lunatic people, um, which, you know, are gonna figure out how to do it either way, they're gonna figure out how to do harm either way, which is something that YouTube's gonna have to just uh, they don't want to lose their advertising revenue, and that's what they're going to start doing if this shit starts to continue to happen. They're going to lose all their ads, and, um, I mean, I guess, I, who knows what they're really thinking behind this is. I just think that they don't want anything to do with the whole gun shit right now, and, uh, you know, do you really blame them, to be honest with you? I mean, as a corporation, as a business, as something that's trying to grow, um, they run the show and they call the shots and it's their thing. So if you don't like it, you can fucking leave. Uh, I know I'm not going nowhere. And um, that's just, you know, I feel bad for these other guys. But at the same time, they should have kind of been ready for this. They knew it was happening. So um, anyway, it does kind of suck that YouTube can just, I mean, one day you can just be like, well, no more fitness stuff. Uh, no more guys that do art. Uh, no more no more clothes and fashion stuff. You're You're done. Nope. So that would pretty much leave me out, um, because that's pretty much all I talk about. Um, but, yeah, it kind of sucks that they just make shit up as they go. Um, but, it, then just, I guess, don't do YouTube. I don't know. Uh, so that's that's really it. It's, um, and also, I wanted to touch base on the, the bomber guy. Um, he did get caught, or he, he actually got killed setting off the bomb, trying to kill some SWAT team guys. Um, so hats off to that, uh, Austin police if he got hurt, I'm not sure, um, but, uh, fuck that kid, um, he was fuck crazy, and, uh, hats off to them for finding out who he was and getting him dealt with, um, but if you see a strange package on your front, call the police, don't fuck with it, don't touch it, don't go near it, don't poke it with a stick, don't do nothing, people are out there that are absolutely fucking crazy, this goes to prove right there that guns aren't going to stop this kind of shit. Then people are just going to start um, making other means to kill people. If they if they want to do harm to humans, they're going to do it. And, uh, you know, because they're just sick in the head and they got, you know, psychological problems. And it it's just, um, it's one of those things. So, anyway, I don't want to get too crazy into all that because it's just, just kind of like, a, um, you know, I already pretty much said what I had to say. Um... But I hope you guys understand what I'm kind of talking about. I mean, I just don't really think that it's you should get too worked up about it. Those gun shows and channels and stuff like that, they're going to be making their own new stuff, new shows, new on a different platform probably is what's going to happen. So you'll be able to access the information if you want. Um, so, you know. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys around in the next video. I'm so tired. Shoveled snow did... This is my third video today. Did a lot of lifting weights. It was a long day on a snow day off. But uh, it's about that time. So I will catch you guys later. Uh, have a great night. Peace.